Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the 19th of uh, March. I got it right, 19th of March, uh, 2021. It's about 3.15 p.m. in Austin, Texas. And again, I forgot to check what temperature it is, but it's, uh, it's about 70, I'd say about 72 degrees. Feeling a little bit warmer in the sun. Uh, I'm gonna walk and talk, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go down there and get a hamburger as well. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be a hamburger. Um, uh, today's a special day in history. Uh, it's uh, Saint Joseph's birthday. For all you. Uh, people out there who believe in something more than a, a bed of seaweed and a, a strong tide. Uh, some people believe we, we came out of the ocean in a sea pod and uh, wormed our way up to the sand and, and evolved from a piece of uh, marine life or an, an amoeba. Sometimes my brother Jay calls me a one cell amoeba. He says, all you do is eat and defecate eat and defecate a one cell amoeba anyway uh, st. Joseph's uh, birthday today and it's a, it's a good example of taking somebody back he was not sure about his wife Mary when she was with child and he had nothing to do with it but God came to him in the night and when he woke up the next morning changed his mind so and a happy ending it was we have little very little happy endings in the real world and well, today uh, today in 1931 legalized gambling was legalized in the state of Nevada 1931 legalized gambling in the state of Nevada everybody's excited about that and if you own a casino you're very, very excited. I don't know how to hold this thing, but uh, uh, and unfortunately, in 2003, on today's date, the United States of America launched an elective war, elective war, like elective surgery. Somebody who wants to get a a different nose, perhaps, or a, a tummy tuck, or perhaps a a facelift it doesn't it doesn't affect the patient's condition this is called elective surgery and uh, 2003 today the Bush administration elected to play war by invading Iraq with uh, unsubstantiated or unfoundation uh, or manipulated evidence to justify what they were going to do and uh, it's just a shame uh, it's just a shame all the people that were killed all the people that were maimed all the people that their lives were changed forever all the people that lost their loved ones their young sons and daughters on both sides of the conflict if you can call it a conflict more of it was more of another example of uh, my way or the highway you know my way or the highway and uh, that's what gets that's what happens when you have the philosophy of my way or the highway and uh, I, I don't think there's a person on the planet that I would want to stay away from more than George Bush Ellen DeGeneres went to a baseball game with him and I first thing I thought was how can you go to a baseball game and sit next to a gentleman who's responsible so for so much death and destruction and horror horror and sadness I mean 
and laugh and have a good time. And then people say, oh, forget about it and forget about it. Yeah, you can forget about it all you want, but it's hard to forget about it if you're in a wheelchair. If you're missing both legs, tell that to the guy with no legs to forget about it. Tell that to the guy with a severe brain injury. Tell that to the families of victims from this elective war uh, to forget about it. Uh, you know, uh, tell that to, uh, tell that, wow, that's a fast truck. That's a big truck. He's getting out of town. Look at him. Whoa, look at him fishtailing. I don't know if you saw that. I, 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 I'm thinking you're seeing it, but you're looking at me. See, this is confusing. I, I wanted to show you that guy. He came out of this car wash that you can't even see because you're looking at me. And he fishtailed it. So anyway, yeah, tell that to all the suffering and the families that lost loved ones. Whoa! Big engine, big engine. Holy cow, another speeding pickup truck. Uh, everybody's getting their uh, car wash today. My God. I guess for the weekend, I don't know. Let me get the heck out of the parking lot of the car wash and come around this way. So, uh, I was terribly disappointed. I don't know how anybody could... to be, be around anybody who's responsible. And he is responsible. He's the one that okayed it. He's the one who thought it was a good idea. He was playing... Uh, he was playing war with soldiers, but he was really playing, playing with people's lives. And it's disgusting. And uh, so that's all I want to say about that. Uh, 2003, terrible decision. But, uh, but America just, uh, America is, uh, just can't seem to be at peace. Now they want to extend the troop deployment in Afghanistan, perhaps for another six months. I can only assume that there's some people making a lot of money, a lot, a lot of money, building a bridge, and fixing a road, and funding Amtrak, and funding the uh, post office. That that costs money. But uh, international conflicts and war, they make money, and it's a shame. What can I say? It's a warring planet. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to talk about is Judge Judy. A lot of people are in love with Judge Judy. Never miss an episode, but I really didn't care for Judge Judy's uh, attitude one bit. I mean, here's a woman who was very successful judge. And then she gets this te television show and she's making, I don't know how many millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. Uh, a beautiful home in Florida, beautiful family, a husband. Why is she so upset? Why does she have to treat those people so so disrespectfully in that that courtroom? You know, you can yell and you can scream, and then at the end you kind of dovetail it around and let everybody know it's so. You know, there's a there's a judge in Boston who does the traffic tickets or the parking tickets, and he's a beautiful man. He dismisses a lot of them. If I don't know if you've seen it on your on your platforms or your content list, but uh, he's a he's a, you know he's just spreading goodwill and fortune and and not throwing the book at everybody. This this Judge Judy, she couldn't stop yelling, and it, 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 and it's 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 an attitude of it's an attitude of a, 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 a elitism. You know, if you watch Judge Judy, she's. You know, I know the producers are telling her to, to be more mean, to be more, scream more, yell more. And that's fine. You can do that and still come around and let everybody know at the end of the day that, that, that you're with them or you're on them or you're allied with them. Big engine. Big engine. I don't know if I should keep this straight, I guess. I don't know. I got to get used to it walking and having this thing looking at me anyway I didn't like her style and uh, she had no right to talk to those people like that in the courtroom you know the whole courtroom uh, is theater anyway it's all a big money-making operation for everybody except the defendant and the plaintiff 
you got the uh, the judge who went to college and law school, and you've got uh, an educated lawyers on both sides who passed the bar and are educated, manipulative, professional uh, BS artists. And then you have the, the woman who types what everybody says. She's been to college. She's been educated. She know what's going on. Uh, you've got the bailiff. He's in on it. He's at the beck and call of the judge. He loves the station that he got stationed. He doesn't have to drive around in the cop car giving out tickets. He's having a good time. The bailiff, the lady making the notes and typing what people say, the judge, the secretary's judges and all the people that work for the judge and the, the uh, they're all educated. They're all executive secretaries of whatnot. They know what the heck they're doing. Uh, who else knows what they're doing? Everybody associated knows what they're doing except the poor people in the jury box who are 12 of the most unknowledgeable, most unillogical, most uneducated people they can find in a given society. Yeah, it sounds like it's a fair thing to me. Let's have everybody educated in a small group and then bring 12 of the biggest idiots you can find. And I don't mean idiots in a derogatory way. I mean just idiots that have no, 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 no idea what's going on in the courtroom. And then they're gonna let somebody's life hang in the balance, you know? And then the, the lawyers mix them up for, I don't know, weeks on end. They mix them up. They give them this, this scenario and that scenario. And then the defense lawyer comes and, 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 and throws all that away and gives them this story. And if that's not enough to make them confused and screwed up in the head, then the, the judge will talk to them. The, ju uh, the judge's instructions they'll do. And then they'll, they'll do that. For, and then the judge will give them this instructions for 20, 30 minutes and even mix them up some more. So by the time they're finished listening to all the arguments from both sides and the judge, their brain is dripping out of the side of their eardrum. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And this insanity thing, I don't know where this insanity thing came from. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not for the death penalty, but if somebody goes and chops my head off, I really don't care if he had a Twinkie or he wasn't in his right mind. My head is still chopped off. I don't think that person should be let out again. I just don't think we should take a chance again that he may chop somebody else's head off. I mean, I don't, you know, this insanity plea is insanity. And then the death penalty, that's another ball of wax. You wanna put somebody to death, just shoot him. One bullet in the right place, it's over. What is this ejection? And the, and the ejection and the pharmaceuticals get involved and then they say, oh, it's no good. We, gotta, we can't use it. And then uh, the man, you know, what about hanging? I mean, what the old fashioned way? I mean, why does everything have to be so complicated? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, the guy's dead. And you want him dead, if you want him dead, it's the quickest way possible. And that would be a handgun or a rope. Not some stupid injection from a pharmaceutical company that's not really, in, in, doesn't want to be associated with making an injection that kills, you know, it's just, it's, it's nonsense. Sometimes I wonder why I even brought it up today. But it's Friday, so uh, everybody's excited about the weekend. Believe it or not, I'm gonna go inside to this supermarket and I'm gonna see if I can get an egg timer. And I'm gonna set it to 15 minutes and I'm gonna, I'm gonna time these videos so when that damn thing goes off, I'll be done so I don't have to hold everybody up hostage. Anyway, so that's it in a nutshell. Uh, Judge Judy, congratulations on your retirement. I hope you treat your neighbors in Florida with a little bit more respect and compassion than you did for 25 years on that television show. Uh, I don't know why you're so angry and you're so stuck up because that's the way you come off, stuck up and elitist. Like I'd have, like I, I'd rather be doing anything else than doing this, talking to you plaintiffs and and uh, and, and uh, the, the, the the people with problems in the courtroom. And I'm sorry for you, Judge Judy fans, but uh, if you like arrogant, elitist, uncompassionate, uh, loudmouths, well then Judge Judy is your is, is your to go to go girl. So. Uh, Judge Duty, 
the war in Iraq, the car is not going to be bought. The Mustang is, the son told the gentleman not to sell it. What else? Got to get the egg timer. Got to get something to eat. It's Friday. Uh, that's about it. Not a cloud in the sky. Gusts of winds are at 10, 10, 10 to 15 miles an hour, probably more. So enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, I'm going to bounce. I'm going to bounce. I'm going to check out. Uh, I'm going to leap over the fence. I'm going to going to put my mask on and go into this retail outfit here and see if I can't find what I am trying to find. I was looking for Melamars the other day. They didn't have it. I was looking for seltzer water. Not a lot of seltzer water drinkers in Austin, Texas. I couldn't find seltzer water. Uh, uh, yes, there were some things that were missing from my regular retail uh, service outlet. So you take it easy and have a great, great, safe weekend. And just remember, like I always tell you, everybody's doing just the best they can, including me, including me. <laughs>